Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over Quest Two of Act Seven. And if you thought the ass trade was over, man, you are fucking sadly mistaken. This quest, as a node, that is probably the worst thing I've ever seen. But first off, we're gonna go over the all the paths. So this path that I've completed is path one. I'm going to go around in a circle like we did last time for one through nine. Okay. So, I don't know why that opened. This first path, it has terminal velocity, always a fun node, critical setup, and critical resistance. So, critical setup doesn't even work because of critical resistance most of the time, so that's fucking A plus, A plus, A plus, kabam. And then terminal velocity is every time that you do crit, which is once in a fucking blue moon, they gain more power. So, if you're using someone like Ghost or Corvus, they're going to be at 300 percent power gain very quickly, and this node is basically just bullshit power gain. That's the best way I can look at it. Um, so yeah, there's not really like any hard fights. I'd say for Ebony Maw, I'd choose Quake. It was really good, so you can't Quake this, but yeah. Then, um, actually, I'm going to save Path 2 for later, so we can go over the mini boss with it, but Path 2 is bullshit. Then we got Path 3, Power Struggle, Strike Back, that's fine. You don't can't get every time they gain a bar power, you gain a bar power, and every time they throw a bar power, you lose your bar power. I mean, it's fine. It's just like it's power struggle. It's not a big deal. Strike back. You if, if if you do throw a special, they're gonna gain one back. Which, and now that I think about it, it's kind of scuffed because most of the time you want to use your special too, and to use your special two, they have to be at their special two, and then once you use your special two, it's gonna push them to the special three. So that's I see what Kabam did here. This is you may slick Kabam. You know it's fucking suck. So. Yeah, and then one thing I would say is watch out on path this path, because they put a. Oh, never mind. That's a different path I'm thinking of. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. Next, we're going to power uh, path four. Size matters. Particle protector. Microflect. So basically, they're going to glance 100% of the time, unless you don't have an XL character, and if they do glance, they're going to take damage and basically die. So, um. If you want to do this, you can use XL champions. They can't be glanced at all, but large champions, um, their heavy attacks can't be glanced, and their special attacks, mediums, um, just heavy attacks can't be glanced. I mean, or intercepts, but I'm actually going for intercepts on this node. And then small champions, heavies only. So, I mean, I guess that's fun. So just use heavy characters or XL. But I will say, watch out. This path has a thing, Dormont. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of the wrong path once again. I think it's this path I'm thinking of. Okay, this is the path of the fun Staggering Beauty and Nullify Countdown and Power Draw. So this is path five. Eh, it's not that bad. It's while you're close to them, basically, you gain a stagger buff every three seconds, nullifying your next buff, and then staying away from them slowly makes the staggers fall off, which is fine, whatever. Power Draw is if you inflict them with a damage and debuff, you they gain a power buff. Um, wait, actually, if the attacker of Oh, you get the power buff. So if you put a damage and debuff, you can get power from it, which is cool, I guess. But the thing you have to worry about is this node combination with this node. So basically, um, if you get nullified seven things, if they once they nullify seven of your buffs, so if like dexterity, for example, they gain a power gain buff, granting seventy five percent of their power over ten seconds. So they're gonna get a massive power boost. And then on this path to make it even more fun, they also have a havoc, warlock, Elsa, Mister Sinister, and then Mole Man. So that's fun. Next, we got path six, rich get richer and polka dot power. So polka dot power, we all know is you get no power from landing or receiving hits, but instead you're granted twelve percent of a bar power per second while this damn defender is damaging, is suffering a de uh, damaging debuff. So that's cool, whatever. And then rich get richer is whichever champion has more unique buffs on himself, you gain twelve percent of power power per second. So if you're using someone like Venom, you're probably going to be getting benefited from this node. So, yeah, it's a cool node. I don't think this path is that bad. I feel like this is a cool design path. Not terrible. Good job. This path, hate it, just because it does oscillate. Oscillate and backboard brawler. Basically, both of these nodes make them have higher fury and higher defensive stats. So, and and they put they had the nerve to put a Killmonger, Nick Fury, Domino, and Iron Man Infinity War with fucking oscillate. Like, really? Really? Okay. So, then, whatever, that's whatever. And then you got path eight, which is this one, which is just, this path is, oh my 
god, this doesn't look fun. Special burst lock on. Whenever the defender activates a special attack, the attacker is inflicted with both a heal block and armor break debuff. That's in 15 seconds. Oh, I wonder who that's for. The heal block is for anyone who uses suicides. And if you do get past the suicides because you use ghost, you know, screw you, you get an armor. Burst. So this is just you can't use ghost in this path, basically. And on top of the ass rape of that already, we got close encounters, which is cancer. And I just thought I just thought of something so bad I just realized. Every time you need a power gen character, I just realized because it also has close encounters, the most fun node, which is if you're close to them, you generate one percent. And if you're away, you didn't de generate three percent, which normally doesn't work out in your favor and you normally degen more. But with this ass rape node, every time they put you, they're gonna put a armor break debuff on you for fifteen seconds. So you can't heal even if you're close to them. So that's gonna be so fun and enjoyable. This path looks like it's gonna suck dick. Uh, the more I look at it, since it also said debuff, I'm probably gonna put a Mysterio on it and a Void because and a, and oh no, no 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 that's on the next path. Okay whatever. But I think the solution is maybe use Acon, so you can get rid of the armor break or the heal block. I I, I don't know. This path kind of sucks dick. Another bad that sucks dick is Pressure Gauge Gauge. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. I might be retarded. Whatever. I don't even care. Uh, mixed with Power Shield and ar Aggression Armor. So Power Shield, it's just, it's a whatever mode. It's just, it's kind of fun, kind of not fun. Whatever you want. With certain champions, it can't be fun. Certain champions, it's kind of trash. But it's just, you do no damage and your special attacks do 400% more damage. Then you got Power Gauge Gauge, whatever the fuck it's called. You start the fight with five. And every time you land a basic hit, it increases by one. And every time you block, it decreases by one. If it get, hits zero, you just lose all your power. Who cares? But if you reach 10, you take pretty much all... You you just die. You basically die. I tried this and you just die. And this is annoying because since it's forcing you to parry, you need characters like that can heavy attack, basically, because you're parrying. But the thing is, the heavy attack doesn't count as one. So like, you start with five, you parry with Captain America Infinity War... And it goes down to four, and then your heavy takes it back up to six. And you parry, and then you go up to seven. So you need to parry, like, more than you attack, and it's retarded. And at the same time, I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. I tested it. Aggression armor. I kept parry. I was at, like, nine hits, so I, and I was using Archangel. And Archangel's medium does three hits, so it's even more than Captain America Infinity Wars. And I just kept parrying to let it lower, lower. Once I finally got to a special, I realized that it did no damage because aggression armor was built up too much. So it was not fun. It was just, this is a stupid dude combination, honestly. It, I feel like Captain America and Finny War probably is the best character for this just because you have to parry a lot and he has perfect parries. So yeah, th this note is, don't like it, really stupid. And on top of it, like I was saying, oh, oh, why not? Let's just throw this guy in here. You have to parry a Mordo, so have fun doing no damage because you have to wait for the start and so let's move on. You have a Terax. It's just, it's just stupid tornado damage. You have Doom and you have Void. So, you know, great game, great game. Then we go to talk about Path 2 again, the one I avoided. This path, whoever invented this, kill yourself. Like, actually kill yourself. You're just not needed on this earth. So, we got these fun nodes called Mercy, dude. Mixed with Bubble Shield, just to say an extra fuck you. Um, bubble Shield just makes your block efficiency lower every time you parry. And with this node, you need to parry. So, wow, amazing, amazing combo, dude. Just more block damage. This node, I hate with a burning passion. Defender takes reduced damage from all sources by 90%, less under the effect of a mercy passive. How do they get these mercy passives, you say? Basically, you and the opponent both start with zero. And every time you dex, so basically you're forced to play as Stark Spider-Man, one of the most hated characters for me. I hate his play style. You basically have to be Stark Spider-Man. You get all these charges. And then once you parry, it will remove all of them from you, how many charges you got, and put it on them, and they will fall off one at a time every 1.5 seconds. So say you have 10 charges, you dex 10 times, you parry, goes to them, you have 15 seconds to do damage. Um, this node is kind of glitchy, though, because of the Archangel, sometimes it would just shut off the node, I, I don't know. But, uh, but like, characters like this guy, Falcon, his special one with Bubble Shield, just, I took so much damage because it just take short my bum. It's just a terrible node combination. And then on top of it, you have Manding, Annihilus, and um, whatever, uh, Darkhawk, which is very fun. Then, you go to the ass rape of this quest. Not the boss. The boss, he's ass rape, but this guy, just, just gotta give Kabam a high five for this 10 out of 10 performance on Sabertooth. So what does he have? You see, that makes him ads. 
Here's the Mercy Node. So, you know, you gotta do that parry thing. All that. He has recovery, make him a little more um, health, so it's annoying because it's a Sabertooth and he heals. But then on top of the Mercy Node, then top of the healing from Sabertooth, on top of everything, they decided they're going to add everyone's favorite node, Aspect of Lore, which is um, your block proficiency decays from 0 to 50, at, uh, over 0 to 50 seconds. And after 50 seconds, they just go unblockable. So, you're wondering probably... Once they get, um, you know, these specials, your block proficiency, you know, you're being forced to parry, but my block proficiency is dead, and he's doing a crap ton of damage, and then eventually he's going unblockable, so how are you supposed to get your damage? You don't. You kill yourself, because this game doesn't like you, and it says, fuck you, you're gonna have to just adapt and get good, I guess, because you can't do damage of mercy, because you can't put the mercy charts on them, because you can't parry and stun them, so it's just... There's one ten out of ten kabam. This I did this fight once and never got an I the fact that you're gonna have to explore this full quest and do that fight um what is this three times? This is the worst fight. This is definitely the worst mini boss. This fight you have to do three times and it's just wow. Now on top of it, he has limber going to Modoc. If there's three minis, you have to take each of them three times. And oh, what do they give? Biohazard, Limbo, or Limber, and Freezer Burn. So that's amazing, bro. That's amazing. All three of these together. Um, you're gonna have to take one off at a time. So you're either gonna have Biohazard, Limbo, uh, Limber, Biohazard, Freezer Burn, Limber, Freezer Burn. Just one of the, just, I, not, none of these combinations are fun. So have fun um, with your. Just have fun, guys. It's gonna be so fun. And then on top of that, he has his own node. Which is maximum flux increases by 25%. No one cares about that. Clap back. That's annoying because you can't use someone like Archangel to just destroy him. But then he has enhanced force field, dude, to make it even more fun and interactive. Force field charges can only be removed from unblockable or heavy attacks. Bravo, bravo. Beautiful fight design. So basically, use Ghost or Quake. I one shot him with Quake. Uh, Quake is by far the best option, in my opinion, for this fight. The hardest fight is. Definitely the saber too. The saber too sucks so much schlong. So the hardest fight is by far the saber too. Actually, I haven't checked the other two minis. Let me just see to see if there's any BS in these guys. So this mini has the staggering stuff. So that's not that bad. Whatever. And this mini has, is morning star with um, the anti ghost node fun and close encounters. So you need a blue moon who can get close. This this, this mini is probably not gonna be as fun. I think the Gladiator Hulk's the easiest one. This one is the second hardest. And this saber tooth, they're gonna have fun doing this fight. Cause I know I know I did, guys. I know I did. Kabam! Good job. This fight sucks so much dick. It actually hurts. So so I mean, yeah. Kabam! Take this note out of the game. And if you're gonna keep it, take off aspect of war it's such a bullshit fight dude it took me like 10 fights to even understand what was going on and then i read the notes more carefully but even then even when i understood what was going on it was still like just such stupid deaths dude it was this fight sucks dick i don't know who who whoever made this fight actually kill yourself you're doing the community no service you're doing everyone a disservice this node fucking mercy this shows whoever made this node has no mercy for the players so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this stupid ass fight. Um, I'm not gonna upload any gameplay because I was crying pretty much. You know, I wanted to cut myself. So if you want to see what it looks like, go to Seat and Stream. He streamed it and see the saber tooth fight for yourself. Um, it's very fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.